Okay, so with the airplane, I'm gonna start out the same way that I did the boat. I always start with a cube. I'm gonna hold down X to snap to the grid. I'm gonna hit five to shade. Now remember, you can change your shading options here. And um, if you wanna have wireframe on shading, I like to model this way, so I hit this button. It's wireframe on shading. Okay, so I'm gonna build a simple airplane. It's gonna be following the same concept as the boat. I'm gonna to go to face mode. I'm going to use just the two tools that we've talked about before in previous lectures. Just extrude and insert edge loop for additive modeling. Remember, additive modeling is when you is when you extrude or add more geometry to a model. I'm gonna hit G to repeat extruding. And I'm just gonna continue to extrude the wings. Maybe add something interesting. One little tip, if I hit shift and period, I can grow my selection. If I wanna add anything interesting to the wings, I'll just extrude. Now, remember, it, when you're working in Maya, you want to do a couple things. You either want to work from reference or work from a design or design something yourself. So I'm going to scale this geometry. Then I'll fix it. Some crazy looking wings. And I'm just using, I'm, I'm modeling us using faces, verts, edges, and then only when I need geometry do I add it. So I'll go to face mode and I'll hit extrude. Then I'll insert an edge loop here and go to face mode again. Extrude out some more wings. Let's probably scale it first a little bit. Then extrude again. And see how simple this is. I'm just keeping it simple while it's in this phase. I'm not gonna add anything around it. I'm not gonna add windows or anything else just yet. And I'll go to vertex mode. You wanna manipulate as much as you can on your model before adding any new geometry. Push it as far as you can possibly push it. And there's a simple airplane.